All right, hey, what's up everyone? My name is Walter Barrow and I am the Senior Developer Advocate at Equinix. So this video or this talk is going to be uh, about YouTube as a service. It's your service as a developer uh, to get your work out into the open source community so people can learn. Uh, I joined YouTube back in 2007. I worked at YouTube Space LA in Los Angeles in Playa Vista. Uh, and I'm currently at Equinix to grow their YouTube channel, and you can find us at Equinix Developers. So, um, let's see, there's my mugshot. Okay, so in the back of YouTube, you'll see here, let's see if, if, if my shadow can work, there is a Your Videos button right here. If you click on that, it takes you to this analytics page, and in there, it's this whole world of analytics on, on everything that you need. Data about uh, about how to find people, about keyword searching, and so analytics are your friends. One of the other tabs in the analytics uh, part of YouTube is a research tab. Use it because you don't have to guess what your videos are going to be successful or, or, or um, uh, if your videos are going to be unsuccessful or successful. Just use that research tab. Um, so also in the back of the analytics tab, you can lower your bounce rate. The bounce rate is people that leave your videos within the first five or 10 seconds, that they bounce that video. Uh, you can find out the bounce rate there and you can see where people are leaving your video or if they're staying and then they're, re and then they're staying to watch it. Uh, an another trick that you can do is to use numbers in your title or don't. You can try and see what works and what doesn't. This one, I just did a quick test uh, right there. We had a 6x, a, a 6x improvement on a video that used numbers versus not using numbers and so I'm, I'm, I'm going to scale that out. Uh, the idea of growing a channel for your video titles is very similar to resumes where, wow, this does go really fast. Uh, <laughs> let's go, let's go, let's go. Um, all right, so basically it's like you're growing a resume that you're using power words, you're using actual verbs, and then you're using metrics and numbers to grab people's attention. In the back of YouTube, uh, well, on your YouTube description, uh, you can use chapters. Don't worry about it. The slide wasn't important. Let's just keep going. Uh, no. It was. Uh, okay, so the other thing to, you can reply to all comments. And so the trick is don't use the notifications tab at the upper right. You can go to the comments tab in your analytics form, and then there you can just get to all the comments within a few seconds, you, and then you can maximize your time. Uh, don't sell, that's a big thing on the internet. Use the 90-10 rule. 90% of your content should be promoting other people. You gotta make other people famous, and only 10% should be about you. So this here uh, makes it easy to promote your video. Uh, because the one thing is that if you wanted to collaborate with people, you can get them to come on, make them famous, and then there, and then there you have it. Your first 10 people that are going to watch the video are going to, people are, uh, are going to be the people that are in your video. So it kind of ramp, ramp, uh, it kind of ramps up. Um, okay. So the other thing is that use the internet as a form of digital real uh, as as a form of digital real estate. The idea is that you want to, to, to land as much evergreen content as possible. That's comments. That's commenting on other, on other, on other, people's, um, on other people's videos. So the idea is that when you're leaving that comment, you've got to think to yourself, in three years, people are going to find that. So it's passive. So you, you own that content and then just keep on just, um, you know, hitting it up. Um, this here, use the banner of YouTube as one big call to action. So here, this here is what would show up on mobile. The, uh, that banner will show up on tablet, and then the whole thing would have showed up on desktop. So kind of use that digital real estate for that CTA on the top to either post when you're going to post the video or to get people to subscribe to your channel. Uh, stay consistent. TV did this years ago. I don't know why when people go to the internet, then they stop doing it. Something as simple as like, hey, we, uh, we have our new video at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time every Thursday. That works great. I don't know why people don't do it, but it works really well on the internet um, if you do it. So um, you can do things like polls and games and trivia and then have different segments within your, YouTube, within your YouTube channel. And then also one of the tricks that I do a lot is to reuse the content. So the idea is like you might, uh, well here, it, maybe it's in this next slide. Maybe I'll just wait and catch my breath for, for, for a minute. Um, <laughs> All right, so let's keep going. Uh, so let's say that you do a 40-minute live stream. You can chop that live stream up into eight or four separate videos, and now you have a live stream, then you have a video, which then you can post out on, on, a, on a bunch of different socials. And then you can write an article about that video, and then you can do a call for papers submission based on that one video from that one live stream that you did three weeks ago. So you've done eight forms of content on the same 40-minute uh, you know, piece of work. So it's just maximizing your time. Uh, okay, so what did we learn? Comment on, on everything. Digital real estate. Uh, there was something else there too. Don't worry about it. And uh, thanks for your time. You can, you, you can go back and watch the video.